We're going to talk a little bit about the Dark Moon Fair because there's been some changes made to that thing. But before we do, let's talk about the Radiant Echoes events and the recent updates. Mini bosses have been buffed. If you've been using mini bosses to kind of complete objectives quickly, uh, that's going to take a little bit longer. But some other minor things like collecting items and stuff, some of that stuff's been nerfed. So, anyways, uh, the most quickest way to get objectives done in the Radiant Echoes was mini bosses. They had almost no health that could be done in less than a minute. Now, this has been nerfed and mini bosses' health have been buffed. Some other objectives, as I mentioned before, um, some things that required bigger numbers like crystal power, where you had to click and, you know, do all that stuff, was 100, now 66. A few things just adjusted back and forth. Um, pumpkin's poison, 40, was 50 again. So they're trying to just kind of readjust things a little bit here and there, uh, try to make it, I don't know, more fun. It, to me, this, uh, this pre-patch event hasn't been too great, I'll be honest. It's been alright. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. I've done it a couple times. Um, but they're just trying to, you know, adjust things on the back end. Hopefully server stability has uh, stabilized beyond that. Oh! Sorry, didn't notice you there. I'll turn that down a little bit. How's it going? Welcome back in. Uh, listen, we gotta interrupt this news to bring you a great message real quick from Samicus. Uh, many people know me as other names, Furicus, Baldicus, but I prefer a man of the people. And that's why I'm giving back to my community. That's right, you can have an epic edition for yourself. Get that early access, the pets, the mounts, and everything else. All you gotta do is watch one hour of my stream. One hour will give you a point to enter into the giveaway. Every hour beyond that gives you more points. Subscribers get five extra entries. That's right, boys and girls. So get in here and be the degenerate you truly are. Um, continuing on... Radiant Echoes, the currency. Yes, now they uh, basically stack up to 100. So if you had gathered memories of the Northrend, memories of uh, Eastern Kingdoms, or memories of Kalimdor, you may have noticed that those were only stacking up to 20 times in your bags, and they were being sent to your mailbox, which was quite annoying. That's been fixed, so now it's been buffed to 100. So now you can have 100 of these little bad boys in your bag. Again, I haven't done this event a lot, so I haven't been worried, uh, you know, been dealing with the mailbox filling up. But evidently, this was a big problem for a lot of people. So now... It stacks up to 100. Some things that people recently notice, and this is why you may be wanting to do these on alts. The Radiant Echoes events drops different loot based on your level. Yeah, so if you're under level 70, you can actually get some transmogs from things that drop off of the, um, the aisles, basically, that you do when you first start leveling a character. Now, if you've done the aisle version of the character leveling scenario where you get, you're on the ship and you end up on an aisle, um, you can get different gear if you are below level 70. So if you've been wanting these um, recruit sturdy shields, they have the Alliance and the Horde variants of these, you can actually get them from the Radiant Echoes events. These have been dropping for people if they are below level 70, which is kind of interesting. Um, another one here, this simple offhand tome, it's a nice little book there. Um, a couple other things, some of these capes. Again, a lot of these things were items that you could get if you were doing um, the recruits, basically the, the new character scenario. But now you can get them in the Radiant Echoes events if you're doing it below level 70. If you are above level 70, instead of these items, you've been getting that Dalaran's Defender pieces. You know, the purple version of those uh, Light Forged uh, gear that we've been seeing. So if you don't really like those Dalaran ones and you want to do those and get, and get cooler items like these shields and stuff, um, you may want to try doing the Radiant Echoes events on some alts. Now again, if you're waiting for your alts to come over... Um, you got your uh, Missa Pandaria remix is going to be ending on the 19th, so some of those will be coming over. But if they're above level 70, well, then you're running into the same problem there. So you might want to do this on some uh, lower level alts. Between level 10 and 70, you can do this stuff. So get it, get in there and get it done. Uh, moving on to the Dark Moon Fair, because this is the first Dark Moon Fair with war bands enabled. So some things are a little bit different here. You might want to check this out. Uh, this is a mount that I wasn't even a, a, uh, aware was going to be a thing. But yeah, this is the uh, Dark Moon Dirigible. Okay? So you'll be able to get this. This is a uh, basically skin of the new mount that we're getting in the War Within. This is a really cool looking thing, and you're going to be able to get it by running through the Dark Moon Fair on multiple alts. That's right. You can get your Dark Moon prize tickets and then funnel them all to a single character because they are Warband bound. So if you do the daily quests on a bunch of different alts and then funnel the tickets, you'll be able to get the dirigible, which is, uh, how many tickets is this thing? Completing, you can do the quests. Uh, I, I believe it's expensive, okay? I don't know how many tickets it is exactly, but you'll be able to get this. A thousand. It's a thousand tickets. That's a lot. 
but running this on multiple alts, hey, you might, it's, it's an alt-friendly uh, game now. What can I say? You might be able to get this thing pretty quickly. Um, it's a nice-looking mount. I'd suggest uh, going for it. And again, it's one of the first new skins for the new uh, dirigible mount that we're going to be able to get in the game. Yeah, about time 1,000. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. But like I said, running it on alts might make it just that much easier. Um, logging in today or any day recently, you may have noticed that you now have the Warlord's Death Wheel. That's right. This thing has been available for quite a while, all the way back since 2014, but evidently some people bugged on the achievement mount. So this was an amount that you got for a feat of strength, and if you, uh, if you got awarded with it, you may have never gotten it. And Blizzard are now going back and retroactively fixing this for people. That's right, so since 2014, you Come, may have been able to get this mount and never got it. To this realm. Thank you, Silar Bacon, for the uh, YouTube sub. So, uh, again, some people have logged in recently and found, what the hell, This I just got this random mount and this feat of strength. Blizzard are going back to flagged accounts that were supposed to receive the mount a while ago and never did. So, uh, hey, logging in today, you might find yourself a little surprised. Uh, these war these uh, death wheels or was the alliance and the horde version they were always kind of cool to me so uh happy for people who finally got them uh, moving on to delves 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 people are uh you know it's mixed feedback I think they're gonna be a cool little thing in the game they're really gonna be that 15 minute filler that we've never had you know some of that content you've never been able to do so um, you might be able to uh, check in on delves now and see there's been some improvements especially for healers. Uh, what achievement was the feat of strength? I don't remember. I don't remember what the feat of strength was for that Warlords of Draenor bike, but um, it, it was something. It was something. Um, going on, moving on with uh, Delves. So Blizzard have been reacting to feedback, especially when it comes to healers. They feel like healers are having a bit harder time in Delves than other classes, say like tanks, where we're freaking getting nerfed across the board because they think we're too strong in Delves. But for healers, they recently introduced something new. So with Bran, they've been making adjustments to him. Some of the adjustments have been minor things, like he attacks the wrong items and stuff and causes, you know, problems for players. But one is a new curio, or ability for Bran. Basically, this Bran is a uh, healer-friendly uh, version of Bran, where he does more damage, but he takes more damage. So this new version of Bran, when he's running with a healer, basically makes him more impactful for healers because he's able to DPS a lot more and kill mobs, and the healer can focus on healing up Bran during the fights. So again, Blizzard's making adjustments to try to make this thing, you know, kind of similar across the board for whether you're running it with a healer, DPS, or tank. They want it to be doable and soloable and not be requiring people to get into groups. So this is a way for them to do it. Again, this Bran will do increased damage, but take more damage. So he's going to require more healing, but hey, you're running it as a healer, so that's a good way to do it. Uh, more stuff will continue. They said they're going to continue on improving the experience of Delves, and we're working hard to determine what's next for the the next for the uh, future of Season 1, or the next big feature for Season 1, uh, based on feedback. So keep giving that feedback. Uh, they'll keep making tuning and adjustments. And again, the one thing that I think is kind of nice about Delves is it's really going to fill that 15-minute void where you log into WoW and you're like, I got 15 minutes, what can I do here? Probably going to be a Delve. That's a good thing. 